Florida. Yes, Walter. Can I ask you a question? Well, of course, Walter. We're both walruses, right? Well, y- yes, Walter. And we're both gay, right? Yes. Okay. We're both professed gay walruses. But not with each other, Walter. Of course not with each other, Blarney. <laughs> Although we're both attracted to other male walruses, we don't, in fact, find each other attractive sexually. We're kind of like... Brothers. <laughs> exactly! That's what I was going to say. You see, a brother would be able to finish the sentences as you've just done there, Barney. <laughs> Which enforces the fact that we are both, indeed, like brothers. Mm. Indeed. Indeed. In gay walrus brothers, we are. The point, Walter. The point, Barney, mm. is that although we may be gay walruses who enjoy each other's company in the context of brotherhood mm. and who are attracted to other male walruses, is, the question I'm trying to ask is, are we proud of being gay walruses? Hmm. Are we proud of being gay walruses? Well, I asked you first. Never we'll come back, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to your inquiry, Walter, is that yes, we are indeed proud to be gay walruses. Hmm. Right, eh? Yes, Walter. Immensely proud. Hmm. Could you give me an example of your pride in your walrus gayhood? Hmm. Well, off the top of my head, Walter, um, for instance, um, there was this one time I snuck up on Benny. Uh, Benny? Mm-hmm. The one with the floppy pecker? The very one. He's a hunk! Mm, agreed. Oh. Benny is a well-formed hunk of a walrus. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I snuck up on Benny while he was sleeping and kissed his forehead out of the pure gayness of it. He had no idea I did that. Oh, and you're proud of this? Well. I'm not ashamed of it, if that answers your question. Oh, well, this relieves me, Barney. It does? Indeed it does, because I also have an example of pride of my walrus gayness. To be truthful, Walter, I'm afraid to ask. Well, to be just as equally truthful back, Blarney, you don't have to be afraid to ask, because I'll just tell you, because of the expanse of my gay walrus pride reaches the ends of the horizon of this ocean hill. Mm, If you must tell me... Then you must tell me. Well, I must. Okay. Here's something I'm proud of. You know Tyson, that well-built walrus with the thick tusks and oily flippers? Well, of course I know Tyson. He's a good friend of mine. Sometimes we eat lunch together at evening time. He's very attractive. Well, one time during the last mating season, I asked him how many female walruses he mated with. He told me about 15. <laughs> 15? <laughs> That one's one healthy Vera Wallace. You ain't <laughs> telling half the truth there, Blarney. Anyway, he said he mated with 15 female walruses and that he was plum tuckered out with all the mating. Well, it takes a lot out of a walrus to mate as he did. You're preaching to the choir, Blarney. Anyway, I saw that he was pretty stiff from all the mating and I offered, free of charge, a full body rub down. Oh, did he go for it? No. Well, then what did you do? Well, I did what any self-respecting gay walrus would have done. <laughs> What? I hit him on the head with a boulder and stuck oh. my hard walrus tallywhacker in his mouth when he was unconscious. Oh, 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 you didn't. I oh. did, oh. and I'm proud of it. Oh. Very proud. Oh, no mm. wonder Tarsh has been missing since May season. We all thought he eloped with some female Tarsh. Well, well, there's no wonder on my part he's dead, Blarney. I killed him and he had my way with his floppy walrus lips. Oh. <laughs> I have to say, Walter. What? I'm kind of disturbed from your story there. Well, I'm not disturbed. I'm proud! Well, I'm proud of the gay part of the story, obviously, but disturbed about the murder part. That's horrendous, Walter. Well, I don't fault you there, Barney. Many a gay walrus would shiver at the thought of a cold-blooded murder, but would be downright proud of an image of sticking his tallywhacker in between the ivory tusk of a well-muscled specimen of a walrus as Tyson was. I guess. May God have mercy on your soul, Walter. My gay soul, Blarney. Well, that goes without saying. Well, if you're as proud of being gay as I am, Blarney, then you would shout to the world the gayness of your walrus body and your walrus soul. I think you may be overstating gay pride by introducing the gayness of the soul there, Walter. One can never be too proud of being gay, Blarney. That's my motto. Is that your motto? Yes, that's my motto. And if I were to die right here, right now, and I was pure spirit... I would haunt the local bathroom hole so that I may peep on all the variety of male walrus whackers as they empty forth the pee-pee that had been presiding in their smooth bladders of the hottest walruses on this very beach. Mm, again, I can't fault you there, Walter. Would you believe there are many walruses who would, Blarney? <laughs> That's the crux of it. This is true. That's why I like you, Blarney. You're not judgmental. And you're a bit on the cute side. Watch it there, Walter. We're just friends. Remember that. I, I know this. I'm just stating a fact. Well, I gotta go. 
It's getting a little late, and I promised my walrus life partner I'd catch him a fish. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, Barty. Stay proud, and good luck with the fishing. Thanks, Walter. I will. But mind you, but don't kill any more walruses out of gay walrus lust. <laughs> Cute and humorous you are, Barney. Watch it. Oh, sorry. <laughs>